price has gone below the ipo price band um, the intention of the ipo was to bring in retail investors expand the pool uh, how do you plan to bring back the retail investors so there are two aspects to this one on the share price is that one was we wanted to just expand as i said objective was to expand the share register a retail investor uh, was a specific target we have because we are in the assets of india so assets core assets of india must be owned by indian people also so that was the objective of the retail and the second was the second aspect was to build the coverage and uh, improve the li liquidity in the stock so the first two will happen institutions will come in now with the because retail investor you know people is somebody for 2 lakh rupees so they they will be 80 shares or 100 shares now they can get that in the market also prices below so for them you have this conundrum logical conundrum as to what what to do so so the, we will uh, depending on because we are going ahead with the fpo we'll see the uh, uh, institutional participation so we don't know what final shape will take place Hmm. and what could be the final position but there could be some um, uh, reduced uh, participation by retail um, but that is that that's okay i mean our, this is a long term plan for us you know we want to end up in a situation you know 10 years 20 years 30 years from now where the very significant retail ownership of indian assets hmm. which we will achieve so it's you not know, short term uh, it's a start if this is a this is a, it, we we are at the starting line and uh, it's a marathon and when we end it uh, then by that time i i am very confident that a, in indian retail indian core assets of infra airports roads power stations transmission lines brands like fortune ambuja acc will be owned by indians this i am confident of and retail participation will be good so that journey i am confident of um, and uh, and we are confident because uh, it is demonstrated by hard core analysts who do their own work are institutional long investors that despite the price volatility they are staying with the transaction and that just shows to you the underlying value people are ascribing mm. that is they are ignoring even the extreme volatility of 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 the other day and they are saying no we are still in so that that is that shows you what the what the professional long investors are thinking mm -hmm. i get that um we have i know the institutions have come in in a good uh, number for your anchor book you raised nearly um, you know 6000 odd crores from the anchor book itself um, in the last few days uh, you know as the volatility was there have you been interacting with the anchor book participants How, what is their view point in it i am assuming that because of the lock in period they are not worried much but they st still be having some questions and feedbacks which will be coming in so what's coming in from there universally the feedback is uh, please go ahead don't this is not an issue okay and uh, have you got in kind of uh, confidence coming from the domestic financial institutions mutual funds uh, because we had some of the life insurance companies like sbi and hdfc also participating in your anchor book but what about mutual funds and others are they also giving you the same kind of confidence yep yeah, domestic mutual funds historically haven't been a big participant in infra um so we we have we have few like in uh, ambuja acc now and uh, ports and also wilmar and and uh, in this one was uh, uh, private mutual funds then sbi mutual fund etc are there in the anchor book uh, which is made public uh, the uh, there are say, some mutual funds who, who because of infra is long period we don't have any 3 2 3 5 year horizon assets you know we are just long long term so we we are we are more so, In, in our infra platform more suited to insurance and life company so we we are less attractive to a mutual fund because we have no 3 year 2 year horizon assets uh, so that's market we have ourselves have not chased either mm -hmm. um, we are more interested in real long term wealth creation because we will eventually core infra utility will pay dividends etc so it's more suited to life companies more suited to insurance companies because they start soon are all, all the companies are paying small dividends now and they make start making big dividends as we go through come 2026 dividends will rise come 30 dividends will rise more so it's a profile that is catching up and so it suits particular type of investor and uh, so so we have from the investors that we uh, find mutual interest strategic interest massive level of interest